so it's actively off or it's an active sleeper so it's the moment that I lift my head back I get a little I can see the time 1147 and then I have a little phrase underneath that says okay glass and from that I can take a video shoot a shoot a um, picture I can do a normal call I can email through a message when we heard that anthropology PhD student Joseph Evans was selected to be a Google Glass Explorer, making him one of the first graduate students to explore with Glass and the only one here on campus at USF, we wanted to learn more. My name is Joseph Evans and I'm a research associate at the Alliance for Integrated Spatial Technologies and I'm a Google Explorer for USF in Tampa. What I have is Google Glass. It's a wearable personal computer that interacts with both my cell phone and a, and a Wi-Fi network and it allows me to um, integrate data around me in meaningful ways, as well as communicate and connect with people in vastly different ways. Evans traveled to New York in July to pick up his glass after being selected by Google to be an explorer. And so they had a contest that said, hashtag, if I had glass, what would you do with it in 100, 100 characters or less, three pictures and one video? And I just said, wow, you know, my research at AIST was already an augmented reality and in Web 3.0 sort of development from Web 2.0. And I said, you know, that's the future. That's where, that's where archaeology and anthropology is going to go. I wrote in my sort of, if I had glass submission, and if I had glass, I would use it to bridge the classroom and the archaeological sites. Because not all students get the opportunity to travel around the world. Glass actually sits about 30 to 40 degrees above the horizon. You can take photos in two ways. I can say, um, OK, glass. Um, take a picture and it'll take a picture at the same time i can say you know a simple you know lifting my head really quickly okay glass okay glass record a video and without touching the unit or doing anything else i can record a 10 second really quickly a quick video okay so for educational purposes i really wanted to use glass um, in a different way than it was meant to be used. So Google originally thought this would be a great way to um, increase its social media presence. But my job at AIST is to take vastly different and new technologies and apply them to education and archaeology. So in the same ways that people communicate with one another in real time today, you know, be it on Twitter, Facebook, I could um, sort of leverage that technology in order to use it for bridging the students in the classroom together. Is it one big experiment? Yeah. So right now and every day, so it's, it's one thing to wake up every day and get another new sort of experiment or test thrown at you. What has the response been for people that, that know that you have Google Glass and people that are learning about it? What is the reaction? My colleagues who who've discovered that I, I have it are all accepting. They're, they're like, you know, Joe's typically the tech person in the lab, in the office, in the department, so we didn't really put it past him to get this. But... Um, Finally, like people within the, the like people in out in public are always surprised about it because you see it on TV or you've heard about it through you know various media, but you've never but very rarely have people actually seen one. How far could it go in the classroom? I like to say as an explorer, the like sky is the, the limit, and it really is because uh, there's been a this new movement within education to change or flip the classroom. So you instead of having a 90 minute lecture or 75 minute lecture you have 75 minutes of active person to person. Evans will contribute feedback and be part of establishing guidelines for ethical use of glass in the classroom, working with developers to troubleshoot potential issues. For every good that it can be used for, someone can use it for, for harm. So there's protections that maybe need to be built in or are thought about or the conversation started. The future of glass at USF is in the eye of the explorer. So what I'm doing here at USF is I have an explorer's team um, and I'm asking other, you know, other researchers, you know, in the year or so until this technology comes out, would anyone, you know, like to collaborate, you know, under, under the idea that there are many explorers, one device. So based the, knowing that there's one device, does anyone want to develop sort of applications or uses for it or prepare the university and the, for when this technology actually comes around? So it's, we have proactive solutions oh, and not reactive solutions. Um.